Hi, I'm Nathan Hutchin, owner of Rygate Garage in Rygate. I specialise in servicing MOTs and general repairs. And today, I'm going to be showing you some different general maintenance and some driving skills. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change drum brakes. Um, you start off, you have to make sure the hand brakes off, otherwise the drum is not going to come off. Uh, remove the wheel, um, you then either get some sort of lever bar or screwdriver, preferably a big one, and just sort of push away at the edges, just sort of levering it off, and then when it's free pull it off with your hands. Now, so this is the actual drum itself, um, a lot of the time this edge rim around here will be quite large, um, so to repair that we'd have to get uh, sort of a scurfer or a, an angle grinder and just sort of grind it away just so it's flat again and flush with the, the inside of the, the brake drum. These are the brake shoes and as you can see here the, these are the brake shoes, the actual pad part of the shoe. Um, these will need to be cleaned um, and just sort of basically emery clothed up, which is emery cloth is a bit like sandpaper. Um, you just basically rub over the edges. Make sure you take all the old sort of line off of it. Just gives it better grip. Another thing would be to do way here is this is the the rear brake cylinder. Uh, basically, it has a piston each side with a little rubber boot over, and inside are some seals which stop the fluid from coming out. Now you peel back the the rubber boot. You probably need a screwdriver like I do. Just peel it back, have a look inside. If there's fluid coming out, it will need replacing because it means the seal inside is gone. Uh, push that back over. Just check the other side. It's dry, so they're okay. And because it has a piston each end that pushes the, the brake shoes out, um, just need to push them back just to check that they're, they're moving around, they're not seized. Yep, they're okay. Now, this one only has a small lip, but hardly anything at all. So I'm just going to take some emery cloth, just basically. Rub away anything that's there. Right, next thing would be to clean the actual brakes. Uh, best to do it with uh, like a brake cleaner or a clutch cleaner, um, which you would do by spraying, spraying all the, just clean, cleaning it all up. Um, then you would, if you're fitting a, a new drum or the same with an old drum that you've repaired, just adjust the the shoes out so that they're basically. So when you put the drum on, it's. I mean that's a bit too loose at the moment. That's what I'd need to do is remove it. Put your screwdriver in. It has a little sort of dial here. You just want to push the shoe out and let the dial move round. So it's gone round a, a few there. You then put your drum on again. Push it on. That's a bit better. Still not 100% but you just you carry on adjusting until it goes on. If you adjust it so far that you can't get the drum on anymore, what you'll need to do is spin the dial the opposite direction which in this case would be upwards, just a couple of couple of little notches uh, on the dial and then try putting it back on. If it goes on, then it's fine. That's how to replace drum brakes. <laughs> 